Hi, Grace. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Grace,、mm-hmm. can you tell everyone how old you are? Five and a half. And what grade are you in? Kindergarten. And what would you like to be when you grow up? A ballerina teacher. Oh, a ballerina teacher. Oh, that's good. Okay.、Um, well, today you are here because I want to talk to you about stem cells. Do you know what stem cells are? No. No. Yeah. Okay. So,、um, where should we start? Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A B C. When you heal, you begin with stem cells. Stem cells. S T E M C E L L. S T E M C E L L. Good job, Grace. Well, now that you know how to spell them, let's talk about what they are. The best way to explain this. So, Grace, you have a body, right? We all have bodies, and our bodies are made up of tissues. Like you know, like you see your skin. Skin is a giant tissue. Not like a Kleenex, like you blow your、uh. nose, but it's like a tissue. Yeah, and your heart. Is a tissue made up of tissues, and your brain is made up of tissues. So your entire body is made up of tissues. But what makes a tissue? I don't know. Cells make tissues. Cells are think of cells as little. Oh, I I know I know. When Sammy makes his Legos, right? Before you make a castle. What are the what the little pieces of Legos? You have to what you have to put them together, right?、Mm-hmm. Think about the Legos. The Legos are cells, and the whole piece is our tissues or even organs. Like the heart is an organ, or your eyeball. How about your eyeball? Your eyeball is a big organ too. If you take a microscope, Grace. That is a microscope, and if you look into a microscope, can you look inside? There are you can see things a lot bigger. So you put a, maybe a piece of tissue in there, and you can see what it is like inside. You can see what makes that up. You want to see what heart cells look like? Those are heart cells. So if you look in the microscope, that's what you would see: heart cells. Okay, so cells are like the Legos, and the tissues are sort of like your masterpiece. You take your Legos and you build and build and build, and then you make something out of that, right?、Mm-hmm. So the Legos are like cells. So what makes up tissues? What are the Lego cells. blocks? Cells. That's right. So heart tissue is made of heart. Cells. Yes, and brain tissue is made of brain cells. That's right, Grace. Air high five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we know that t- cells make tissues. Have you ever thought about where do cells come from? No. <laughs> so. All the cells in your body, like brain cells and heart cells and skin cells, are made from a stem cell. <laughs> <laughs> so, a stem cell is a cell that can become anything. Like when you were a baby, you. Could grow up to be anything, right? A stem cell is that. A stem cell can become a brain cell. It can become a heart cell. It can become a skin cell. It can become anything in your body. Do you know what Amma does? No. You have no idea what Amma does? No. Guess. No. You know what Amma does? 
I don't know. You don't know? No. You just think I come to the office every day? Yeah. And? Do nothing. Do nothing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Grace Jane. <laughs> okay, well, so we make very important medicine around here. Yeah? And the kind of medicine we make is stem cell medicine. Wow. Now, stem cells, the reason why we make medicine out of stem cells is because, remember I said, stem cells are cells that can, can you tell me, Grace, since you've learned now, what are stem cells? Oh, my stem cells are something that come out of your body. And? What can they do? They can make tissue. Yeah, they can make new tissues. They can make different cells. Any cell in your body, in fact. So if I were to give you, let's say your heart is sick, right? Let's say your heart is sick and you get, you get stem cells, then the stem cells are gonna go into your body and go find your heart and fix it. Now what happens if your brain gets hurt? Yeah. What, what do the stem cells do? Take a guess. They heal your brain. They heal your brain. Yeah. Grace, do you like mosquito bites? No. Why? Because they're too itchy. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they itchy? I don't know. Well, um, when you get a mosquito bite, it becomes like, like when you get a mosquito bite, doesn't it feel like this? It's red and angry, right? Your skin is like red and angry. This is something called inflammation. Inflammation. Yes. And when you're sick, like when inside your body, when you're sick, you also have something called inflammation. This guy is inside of you, okay? And if you hit your head, if you hit your head really hard, what do you get? Inflammation. Yes, inflammation in the brain. And all of that is very bad because inflammation makes your cells really angry and it can cause lots of problems. So guess what stem cells do? Heal you gets rid of inflammation, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they do. So many things, right? Yeah. So just like that, um, stem cells can be used for lots of different things. And that's what we do here. We, we use the stem cells and study different diseases and different, you know, different illnesses when people are sick. And we use stem cells to help heal people. But um, how do we do that? Okay, so if I were to look for stem cells, where would I find them? I can actually find them everywhere in your body. Everywhere. Um, and we like to use fat. Did you know fat contains stem cells? Yeah, fat contains stem cells. So we take some, a little bit of fat tissue. So Alma took fat out and we took a little bit of fat tissue. And from there, we took out the stem cells. They're actually called mesenchymal stem cells. And from there, we, um, you know, stem cells kind of look like this. But those are m, &M. <laughs> Those are stem cells, Grace. Those are stem cells. Grace, are you eating stem cells? No. <laughs> okay, those are stem cells. But our bodies have stem cells, but do you know that as we get older, we lose them? So who do you think has more stem cells, Grace? Omar or you? I don't know. Yes. Remember I said as you get older, you lose your stem cells? So who has more stem cells? Me. Yeah, you're lucky. Actually, that's the reason why you heal a lot faster than Oma. So like, let's say you get a cut and I get a cut at the same time. Who heals faster? Me. Yeah. And it's because you have more stem cells. That's right. So do, do they taste good? Yeah. <laughs> so you can't eat them uh, because ah. they'll, they'll die if you eat them. So you have to actually put them back into your bloodstream. Uh, but what we do here is, since our bodies have few stem cells and everybody is different, right? 
Like, how about our grandpa, your grandpa, your high beat? Do you think he has lots of stem cells? No. Why? Because he's older. Yeah, he's older. That's right. He's super old. So <laughs> if the older you are, the less cells you have. But old people tend to be the ones that are sick, right? But if we want to make medicine for older people that don't have a lot of cells, then somehow we have to make new cells for them. Does that make sense? Just like a younger person, we have to make cells, more cells for them. Why? Because they need lots of cells, just like a young person, so that they can heal better. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the whole idea. So what Uma and, uh, Uma and everybody here at Hope Bio, this is what we do. We take the stem cells and we put them on this thing here. Do you know what this is? A bottle. This is a, a flask. This is what you call a flask. And flask, we take those stem cells and we put them on the flask like this. And you see? You see how they're all on the bottom like this? Mm -hmm. That's how they grow. They grow. And they grow until they fill up the flask completely. You start with just this many cells. So is this a lot or a little? A little. A little, yeah. And then after about a week or so, we're going to end up with this many cells. Are you amazed? <laughs> this is a lot of M&Ms, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what we do. We actually... Is, is M&Ms actually some cells? <laughs> uh, they, are, um, they are wonderful, like M&Ms, but they can do a lot of different things. They're, they're very powerful cells. Now, if you have a lot of stem cells and now we take this and we put this back into the body, what's more powerful? This many cells or this many cells? That many cells. This many cells, that's right. The more you have, the better. So that's what we do here. We make, we make stem cells, we make copies of stem cells over and over and over again until we get enough, uh. enough to be able to heal you. So what can, what can stem cells do? They can make brain cells. And what other kind of cells? Heart cells. Uh-huh. Any kind of cell. Any cell that your body needs, they can become. So they're like magical cells. You never know what they're going to be. <laughs> Grace, do you know that you, that Amma has your stem cell? You don't know that, right? You were one of the first people, well, first babies, newborn babies, that got um, their stem cells successfully banked. Now, I know that really doesn't make sense to you, but it just means that your stem cells, like this many stem cells, we have them here. Did you know that? Grace. This was you. This is you in Amma's tummy. Okay? You didn't have a pacifier, but this was you. Okay? So you're in my tummy. There is something called a placenta. Can you say placenta? Placenta. Yeah. This is attached to your belly button. That's why you, you have a belly button because that's where they cut this off. That's why they, you have a little knot in there. That's your belly button. What's, what's this called? A, I don't know. Placenta. Placenta. Placenta, this is the placenta. And the placenta was attached to you like this. And this is actually the food and all the nutrients you need. It was going into you like this. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Now, when you were born, when you were born, your placenta was attached to you. So after they cut the placenta, they um, they took they brought this to the lab here. They brought it to the lab, and then we were able to take some tissue. Remember, a placenta is made up of what? Placenta. 
I don't know. Tissue. Tissue. Like every organ, Grace, every organ in our bodies is made up of? Tissue. Yes, tissues. So you have a, you have a placenta. And on the placenta, the, the placenta is made up of what? Placenta? Tissue. Yes, tissue. So in t- placenta tissue, tissue is made up of placenta? Tissue. Tissue ma- is made up of what? What's before tissues? What's smaller than a tissue? Placenta cells. Yes. But in the tissue, the tissue also contains stem cells. Stem cells. So in the tissue, we take out the stem cells. So Grace, this is your placenta. So if it's your placenta, then the cells that we take from the placenta are your cells. Got it? So when we took your, st- when we took your stem cells, you want to see what they look like? This is what they look like. It doesn't look like anything. It doesn't? That's right. It doesn't look like anything. You see like those M&Ms there? There's only a few of them. Just like that, there's only a few cells here too. You see one here, one here, very few. See, even though they say that young people or babies have lots of stem cells, they do. Young people have a lot more cells than older people, but still, it's not a lot. See? Right? It's not that many, right? Do you want to see what we did to your cells and how we grew them? You want to see how we grew them? Look. So many. (laughs) Yeah, so many. So these cells, Grace, all of the hardworking people here, they grew all of these cells so that we can store them safely, somewhere safe, so that when you need them later on, let's say later on, Grace, you get sick and you need your cells, they'll be ready for you. <laughs> Does that make you happy? Is that good? Um, we have Sammy's cells too, you know that. Where are they? They're here. Yeah, Sam has stem cells as well. And Alma and Appa have stem cells here. And so does grandma and grandpa. All of your grandma and grandpas, both of them. They all have their stem cells banked here too. Our whole family. <laughs> okay. Now do you know? Do you think you know what stem cells are now? Yeah? Thumbs up? You know for sure? So, um... Can you tell me what Amma does? What do I do? You make stem cell medicine. For what? Why do we make stem cell medicine? Because when people are sick, you help them. Yeah, that's right. So, um, Grace, mm-hmm. everything that we do here are for people like you, for little people like you that you will grow up and have many more healthy options. Does that make you happy? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you for taking away your precious time to come and join me today. I really enjoyed um, my very first podcast with you. I love you, Grace. I love you, Mama. (laughs) 